imagine this. We're learning music. We're learning jazz music. And instead of going to the music, we go to a scale. We go to theory. If I could talk to my younger self, Armin, just go to the music. The, mu the answers are literally there. Okay, enough of me baffling to demonstrate this. So imagine you want to sell more bebop, you want to learn bebop. So what would you do? Let's go to the music. What music is it we want to learn from? What is it we want to recreate? So if you want to learn bebop, the best thing to do is to learn a bebop head is to learn the melody from a bebop head. Personally, I really like confirmation by Charlie Parker. So I'm going to use this example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the melody and I'm just going to look at one to two bars of the melody. So instead of me saying, go transcribe the whole solo, the whole bebop head, the whole solo, because then and then you will learn bebop. That is not what I'm saying here. OK, like this can literally change your life if you just watch the whole video. OK. So my experience from transcribing whole solos and short solos and one to two bars is that if you transcribe one to two bars, you will the your brain can literally take that in and accumulate the idea. One to two bars literally make your brain go, oh, OK, I see what's happening here. Oh, OK, I can make this my own thing. Oh, OK, this will in be incorporated in my playing. So if I transcribe one to two bars, it's much easier for me to get it into my playing. That's my experience. I don't know, maybe you are a guy who wants to transcribe a whole solo and that's the best thing for you. Like if you just think about it, would your brain be more interested in learning a whole solo or just one to two bars? One to two bars will be easier for your brain to like process, to see, to learn the theory behind, to make your own ideas from. And also learning a whole solo is just so overwhelming. <laughs> like it's it's going to take time and usually we get tired of it. It's so much information that usually it just it doesn't really make you so much better. Let's look at the first two bars of confirmation. Now, I wrote down some stuff that you're going to ask yourself now. Ask these questions. First, what chord tone did it start on? Where in the beat did it start? Can I sing it? Why do I like it? What scale slash formation is it using? How do I make something different from this phrase? This process of asking these questions will just be second nature the more you ask these questions. So it's kind of like a manual thing. You have to start asking the questions. And then after a while, next time you transcribe, those questions will just be you will just answer them in your mind, right? So in confirmation, the answers to these questions would be, it started on the third of F with a pickup on the end of four from the fifth. The phrase sounds like this. I'm not good at saying it, but anyway. And why do I like it? I like how it incorporates the chord tones and also use chromaticism. That's why I like it. And also, how would I make something different out of this? I would incorporate just this classic Charlie Parker diminished lick, which sounds like this. So I would play the whole phrase as it is, but then I would just end it differently. So you can experiment so much with it. You can do, you can start it differently. You can end it differently. You are so free to do what you want. And then you can incorporate the things, the other things you've transcribed. Maybe you can, you can take the first few bars of confirmation. You can take the last few bars and then you kind of add them together and then you've done your own thing. So it's like the sky is the limit here. OK, so what I want to say here is you can literally just take that two bars and then you kind of tweak them a bit and voila, you're doing your own thing. It's quite amazing how that is. And from my experience, when I've talked to teachers, that's how they learned. 
That's how the Bebop guys learned. They learned from each other and then they tweaked them and then they made their own thing. And then another guy came along and be like, he's playing a Dorian scale. And everybody's like, whoa. But in reality, they never thought of that as the Dorian scale or whatever. It, it was just, wait, this is just a phrase that sounds good. And I'm not saying you shouldn't learn scales. Learn scales. It helps to know but literally you don't need them to learn a line, right? You can just start from the line and then you can, after that, you can be like, what scale is that? If you want to learn improvisation on a very deep level, you should go to the link in the description. This is like a unique opportunity to get your improvisation to the next level. The price will go up in a very short amount of time. So get it in the description if you're interested. If I would just recap what I've been talking about is go to the music, learn two bars of the melody. Don't just listen to what people say. You should learn this. You should learn that. Go to the bebop you like. All right. In my case, confirmation by Charlie Parker. Learn two bars, sing it. So ask the questions, see how you can play it differently. Just tweak it and you practice that. OK, you repeat and you practice that. You will be able to like memorize stuff so much better because you're actually looking at a phrase and you're asking questions and your brain is like, oh, this phrase, we're putting our attention to this phrase. So it's so much better for your learning. You will learn so much quicker than just, all right, let me just learn a solo and you're moving on and then you're doing this and you're doing that. Just learn this. And if you want a step-by-step -step process on how to like learn improvisation, get the guitar min method right now. You will not regret it. So it will be fun to see what tune you chose and also like what bar did you choose? Was it the first bar? Was it the second bar? Just to see what you're practicing. That will be so fun to see. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Click on this video if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Guitarman out.